What your focus is going to be on, your closest partnerships, Pisces, or creating a close partnership with someone. Because you have the moon card coming up here as uh, your focus is in the reverse. So the moon card sometimes comes up to indicate illusion in the reverse. And with these runes, for you, it would be around... Um, and this may be someone that you haven't spoken to in some time. This is somebody that you uh, have from your past that you kind of left the situation behind. So this could be a former partner, a former lover, um, a, a friend or family member that you kind of broke ties with in the past. Um, and I'm also using the uh, vampire tarot just for, for those reasons, since everybody always asks about the deck. This is by Natalie Hertz. Um, just to kind of get in the spirit of, of Halloween, but, uh, so I wanted to get that out there since everybody always asks about that. But, um, the moon card in reverse can also talk about, um, you know, uh, someone who is emotionally or mentally unstable. So there could be messages or information coming to you about someone who's dealing with that. You may be in a relationship where you are dealing with someone who is, you know, there's just instability. There's illusions, maybe dishonesty, lies uh, around. Um, and that, again, Pisces, this doesn't have to be you. Uh, this can be someone you're close to you're, that's dealing with this and you find out about it. Um, now, some of you may be just trying, this is maybe a situation that you got out of. Maybe this is the situation you left behind, uh, a former relationship, a former partnership. And you're really focused in October in uh, on uh, finding a new partner or, or finding someone to move forward with or, or moving past this uh, in some way. So whether you are trying to start over with someone from the past or completely remove yourself, um, you know, and get closure on a past situation, I, I feel like that's going to be your focus in October. Some of you may be traveling or moving in October, or you may be focused on that. Um, you, you may be focused on um, planning a trip or even taking a vacation in October. There may be something that comes up unexpectedly, but I think it will be a trip for pleasure. And I, I do think you will have um, a good time. Uh, you know, if you're planning a trip, you may want to hold off on to, on committing to too much until after October 9th, because that does seem to be the time. Uh, that's the time when Mercury goes direct. So that can be a better time for making plans or, um, you know, anything to do with vehicles particular in particular. Um, now you may, f some of you, you've got the eight of swords coming up here. Um, also, so this card talks about, uh, you know, feeling like you can't move forward in some way and paired with Pedro, um, You, you may feel like there's something that happens that hinders you in October from moving forward. Maybe it's something that just takes your focus. And, you know, it could be this other situation, this person close to you, um, or this person from the past who is, is um, you know, kind of, some, you don't have all the information though, because this is the rune of the hidden. So until you get further information, you feel like you can't really move forward. You need more info. Um, but again, with the Eight of Swords, it's a mental thing. You know, you, you can uh, you can walk out of this anytime you want. Um, you may just feel like you don't have all of the information. So you, you may kind of be imprisoning yourself here a little bit uh, <laughs> mentally, um, Pisces. And um, now there may be something coming to light in October that... Um, you know, again, from the past, I'm getting a lot of, like a lot of this is from the past. I don't really feel like this is so much happening in October. It's maybe just contact or, uh, someone uh, coming back around or an issue that was dealt with before coming up again. And I mean, it really is one that's kind of tripped you up because you just don't get it. 
This is a person you just don't understand their motivations, their actions, because again, they seem to be kind of wacky or, or not logical, not, um, overly, you know, they're, this person's overly emotional and, um, you know, so you may be comforting, comforting someone in October or, um, just having to deal with someone who's very irrational, Pisces, and um, you just don't get them. So they're, they're, they are like an enigma wrapped in a conundrum <laughs> or a puzzle wrapped in an enigma, whatever that saying is. And um, you don't get that. Now, for some of you, maybe you are going through a breakup because this can also be talking about leaving a relationship behind. So maybe, you know, this happened in September and it has left you feeling very raw and um, emotional in October, Pisces. And of course, I, you know, anyone can understand that we've all been there. So, I mean, you may feel like, you know, you can't really do anything. You can't really move forward until until you're past this. And you just want to know when you're going to be past this. But you know that, that no one has that answer. So, um, you know, just try to change your thought patterns if that's the case. Pisces in October. Um, definitely don't drown your sorrows. Um you know, this, for some of you, if you've had a problem with an addiction in the past, this could reawaken that. Make sure you seek help, you know, or call a sponsor or, or, or talk to a friend. You know, don't succumb to that because you got a lot going for you, Pisces. It's just maybe in one area where that could kind of muck up everything else. So um, if you let it get to you. Uh, the Eight of Swords is about, you know, letting letting worries and things intrude on your peace of mind. So try not to let that happen in October, Pisces. Um, now, the help that's going to be available to you with the Three of Pentacles is, 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 is you have other people cooperating or willing to help you, willing to be there for you. And for some of you, maybe this is in a financial sense. So, um, you know, maybe this is a divorce and you're having to, you know, get a lawyer, but you don't have the money and, and uh, you know, you have people who will help you. And, you know, all you have to do is ask. Um, so, but some of you, again, I get this disconnect. Like this is somebody close to you going through this. So for some of you, again, this is, this is someone else dealing with, um, you know, uh, an overly emotional or, or um, unstable person. And maybe this is the person that is going through a difficult life lesson and may come to you for your help or they, they, they uh, you know, come to you for your cooperation. So um, now those of you, it, this can also be a work situation where you're putting a lot of effort in. You are, um, so I do feel like those of you who are maybe having more difficult or tumultuous personal life, throwing yourself into your work or throwing yourself into, uh, you know, what is something that you are creating, putting a lot of effort into something is going to be what leads you to, uh, well, just what kind of takes your attention off of whatever this situation is. Um, that's causing you worry or causing you <laughs> concern. Um, yeah, throw yourself into a creative project or your work. It's it, that's going to take your attention off of things, and it's leading to something as well. Um, it's necessary that you work hard in October, Pisces. So a lot of you are going to be really throwing yourself into that, and you know. It, you may have to take time out to deal with this situation. You may resent that, honestly, Pisces, because some of you may just be, you know, I'm busy, busy, busy. I, I'm working on this situation. I'm working on this project. I'm work, you know, I'm working a lot this month. I don't have time for this, you know, craziness. I don't have time for um, people who have been upsetting to me, uh, upsetting my peace of mind, upsetting my focus. I don't have time for that, but. Um, you know, I feel like you'll have time to do both. You can deal with this situation. Just don't let it get you down, Pisces. And if you need help, ask for it because you, there are people who will help you um, for sure. And um, I do see effort, though, going into to work. Now, what can't be changed about October? We do, unfortunately, have 
the uh, the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords talks about um, betrayal, deception. You may find out that some people have been talking bad about you or, or gossiping about you because of the rune we have coming up is men Menace uh, in the reverse. Um, and for a lot of you, this may be on the job. So you may find that people, yeah, someone may have been seeing bad things about you or bad things about your business or uh, this could be coworkers, um, you know, or, or maybe they're, you find out that they're, you know, I don't see you losing a job or anything because you have Fei Hu uh, in the upright. If that is the case and, uh, you know, you get laid off or something out of nowhere, there's quickly going to be something to replace it. Maybe you were already looking. But um, with Fei Hu here in the upright, money will be good. So, but but there's something to, maybe you're just dealing with difficult clients or, or dealing with people who say one thing and then do another, very hypocritical types. Um, but you have to be careful who you share any plans with, especially about your finances in October, Pisces, really kind of play your cards close to your chest about your plans financially or your plans with, with the job or money, because, um, someone could, could, um, you know, betray you in some way or, or, uh, maybe steal one of your ideas or, um, you know, and, and you say it was their own or um, maybe you're looking for a new job and you share that with a coworker, and then they tell everyone else that it gets back to your boss and it can be that kind of thing. So I feel like a lot of October can be, um, you can rein in these energies by basically not talking, <laughs> not share, not sharing your plans with others. It's not time. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, um, it's not going to serve you. Um, but you could feel opposed by coworkers or opposed by a group of people could be family, but it seems like it has a financial Maybe you're just feeling that way and you've been looking for a job. You want to get out of a situation. You've been trying to make more money or, or you want to be paid appropriately, but there are just no opportunities out there. And maybe in October, you're, you're getting a bit frustrated. I do think by the end, though, you will find something Pisces. So if that's been the case, it's like, oh, I'm stuck here. I don't, you know, these people hate me and I don't like them, um, you know, but I can't find anything. Hang on till the end of October there, uh, Pisces, because I think you'll find that a lot more viable options may be available. Um, now, I do feel like there there is some sort of disruptive, surprising energy um, around, and you, you have strength, uh, the strength card coming up in the reverse. Um, and this, can, this card can sometimes show up when we 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 uh say you get angry and then you really kind of overdo it in what you say you know those things that they say well, you know once it's out you can't take it back it's that kind of thing so again it kind of comes back to reining in those emotions someone may really take you off in october pisces and um but it could jeopardize uh, you know, it could jeopardize you. It could jeopardize um, something for you if you kind of blow up. The best approach is going to be to keep your cool. And that may be what you're fretting about in silence. It's like, I can't, you know, let loose and lay into this person and not be able to do so. It was really frustrating me, uh, you know. Uh, so that could be what this Eight of Swords is about. It's like you have to keep it under wraps. You have to keep it to yourself. But you really, really, really want to lay into someone. You really want to go off on someone. But you can't. And um, because if you do, I, I, I just feel like it's going to disrupt something for you. It's going to damage something for you, Pisces. It's going to create stress. Where there already is some 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 stress here, and um, it's really not going to do you any good. Um, so if you can keep that in mind, um, you know, 
some of you may feel like your strengths are being used against you. You may feel like your gifts or your talents are being used against you in October in some way with, with strength and reverse, um, out of the blue. So, um, yeah, I mean, it can be a month of, uh, just gossipy and, and, and people snark, snark, snark in. Uh, if that's the case, Pisces, I feel like this is not a new situation. You already know who these people are when I'm talking to you right now, whether it's coworkers, family, whatever, um, you know, and, um, this may be a situation again, that you thought was dead and over with. And it, here it is re resurging, rearing its ugly head. Um, and you may really want to give someone a piece of your mind, but I would say wait until after these energies in October die down because it seems like you would do yourself more harm than good. Um, and I know that's hard to do. Believe me, I know. When you really, really want to let someone have it and they deserve it. <laughs> or at least from your point of view. Um, you know, because we are always stuck in our own heads. You have a lot to be positive about, though, Pisces. I don't feel like this is like the whole month is going to be bad. This is just one situation that keeps popping up and keeps rearing its head. And you really just want to take your sword and cut the, cut the head off of that, uh, that dragon. But um, for whatever reason, it's not the time to do it or you're not the one to do it. Because, again, I, I feel like for some of you, this is someone else's problem. You're just kind of dragged in by extension. And, um, you know, uh, so the time is not quite right. Either that or it's not your battle. So, um, I, and I feel like no one's listening to this person anyway. No one of importance. No one important to you is listening to whoever this, this backstabbing individual is. So that's what I see Pisces for October. Not the, not the greatest reading, but again, I feel like this is just one aspect. I don't feel like it's going to color the whole month. Um, those of you who are focused on new partnerships that actually may move forward. Um, or at least you may be taking steps in October for that to happen. So I would focus on that. Focus on creative projects, your, your work, um, don't give naysayers or gossipers any, any, any credence. Um, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's going to work out, but it may not work out until November. Um, but yeah, just, uh, bite your tongue. Your tongue may be bleeding in October Pisces. I'm not going to lie. You may really, really, you know, so meditate, do whatever, you know. Throw yourself into your interests. Focus on your life and focus on where you're going. Because whoever this, these naysayers are or, or um, the situation you're moving away from, whoever that is, they're part of your past. They're not part of where you're going. And they shouldn't be because they were holding you back in some way. 